Thank you for tuning in to this quarterfinal match from the U.S. Open Crokinole Championship, a national Crokinole Association event. Today we have a very exciting matchup coming from the Charleston Crokinole Club. Ben and Joe versus the Cheeky Buggers, Simon and Boot. The Brits coming from Ontario, Canada. Teams will now volley whoever's closest to the 20 decides hammer. Oh, a cheeky 20 from the Cheeky Buggers, and Simon opts to shoot first. Opens with a 20, bend to follow, and just skips over the 20 hole. Boot now looking to convert, and just skips out of the 20. Now, not an easy off from the 15 for Joe. Catches a bag, but keeps his shooter on in the 5. Simon now with a few options, debating between the 5 in front of him and the 5 behind the pegs from Ben's angle. Not much of a hide there, or no point in hiding there. Simon looking to roll in and almost catches a 20 on the right side of the hole. Ben now debating whether he should leave that for Joe. Looks like he'll be taking that 15, loses his own shooter in the process, but gets the opponent's disc off. Boot now. Looks like they're discussing rolling the discs back so Joe will have nothing to work with, which is exactly what he does. Hits the opponent disc off. Not an easy in for Joe here. Potentially a double lined up. The Cheeky Buggers are in very good position. Being up a 22 on the board, the Holy City Flickers do have hammer, but they will have to put in a bit of work to be back in control. Joe with a nice double. Simon now left with not an easy shot. Looks like he will be taking Hogan's alley. Gets the off. Beautiful shot. Ben now just skims the red disc. Leaving an open board for boot. And just short. Potentially a very easy 20 to take. Joe looks like that's what he's lining up for. And scores the 20. Now tied in the 20's cup. Simon also lipping out. Coming out on the wrong side of the hole. Another 20 opportunity. Which Ben gets and the double. Holy City Flickers back in control, up a 20 and with the hammer now. Pressure is on Boot to score this 20. And he lifts out again. Joe most likely looking to convert and just misses but on the right side of the hole. Simon deciding his best angle to take this from. Straight on going through the follow through, just misses. Ben now, leaving the middle disc for his partner across the board, who will have an easier chance of getting a 20. Ben opting to hit and stick, not leaving Boot a chance to mess with that beautiful setup in the middle. Hits and loses his own shooter in the process. Joe now. We will see shortly what the result of this is. And doesn't get the 20, but... Rolls away, not giving Simon much to work with. Looks like he'll be hoping to catch a peg to bring it back to the center. And not quite, just hits and sticks. Not a nice spot for Ben. Again though, pressure's not on him. They do have hammer, so he just needs an off. Doesn't quite get the off. Still in great position here. Now all Joe will need to do is nothing. Right now they're tied. If he wants to win, he just needs to hit an opponent disc and keep his on the board. Which is what he does. Holy City Flickers will take this first round. Joe with a wonderful double there. Also a 20. Great shots. From the Holy City Flickers. That beautiful 20 and a double. 
Ben to open up this second round. A slow roll in an unfortunate spot. Looked like it lost speed right where he was hoping for it to land, but alas. Boot now converts, gets the 20. Joe to follow Cheeky Buggers in a good spot with Hammer and up a 20 now. Simon now to shoot. And just lips out, leaving another opportunity for Ben, which he converts on. Doesn't get the off, but leaves that in a potentially nice spot unless Boot can mess with this. Boot just misses. Not necessarily an easy 20 here for Joe, but certainly doable. Joe debating what to take. Now the Holy City Flickers are... Oh! A beautiful double now up two 20s. <laughs> Pointing at the camera, that will most certainly be a highlight by the end of this round. Ben just misses maybe a 20 opportunity for boot here. Coming up the far side... And rolls out, doesn't get what he was hoping for. Char uh, Holy City Flicker is happy to just stay on the outside now. Up 220 as they don't have hammer, but still at a great advantage right now. Simon with a nice roll in. Still not out of the woods yet. Holy City Flickers still are up at 20, so the cheeky buggers will need to make something happen here. Boot not left with a wonderful leave. Looking for the best way to handle this disc. Gets the off. Also not creating a lot of opportunity for Joe. Leaves it just outside of the pegs. Maybe a Peggy Sue opportunity here for Simon. We'll see what he does. Oh, catches a peg. Unfortunate. Ben now. Coming up short, maybe opening the door for Boot. Now, Boot scores this. The Cheeky Buggers will be back in this round. They certainly aren't out of it yet. Simon telling Boot to play it straight through. Doesn't get the off. Now, Simon is set up here for a 20, and it doesn't look like Joe is going to have an easy time messing up that center disc, leaving Simon nicely set up. Ben suggesting some peg action to get in there and mess with that center disc. We'll see what Joe is able to do. Unfortunate. He does catch the peg, but didn't quite get what he wanted. Simon now needing this 20. Doesn't get it. Holy City Flickers are up in the 20. And up another one. Up two 20s now. A decent amount of red on the board, but not quite enough right now to make the difference that they need. Looks like one of those discs, two of those discs are in the 10. One of them is in the 15, which is not enough to beat that 20 difference. Joe now looking for an easy off. Opting for that one in the 15. And gets it. Nice. Simon now with last shot. Not a lot of options. Even with beating the 20 difference here. Gets a nice off and the 20. Not enough though. And the Holy City Flickers will take this second round. Nice shots from both teams though this round. That <laughs> beautiful. Double and a 20 with some peg action there. And this last shot from Simon, unfortunately inconsequential, but still a very nice shot. Boot now to open the third round. Opens to 20. Holy City flickers with hammer, but pressure now on them. 
Joe to shoot. Goes a little bit long, opening the door for Simon, who misses, but up a 20 in, away from the 20 hole. Ben, unfortunately, just skims the opponent disc and rolls off, leaving an open board for Boot, who just skips out. Bit of a heavy hanger here. Joe, unable to convert, but leaving his on in the 15. Simon now gets the off. Very good position despite being against the hammer. Up a 20 and up a disc on the board. The Holy City Flickers having their work cut out for them. Joe most likely looking to roll in. Just gets up to the pegs. Not quite between, but working to get play back to the middle. Ben now, looking for a 20 opportunity. It looks like he'll try to roll in from that 5. Unfortunate. Catches a peg on his way in. Leaving another open board opportunity for Boot. Who hits the hole hard and skips back out. Very congested on Joe's side now. Gets a clean off. Not leaving a super nice leave. Simon to go through his own. Ben up again. Looking to get play in the middle. Nice double. Now Simon is left with a tricky leave. Not wanting to take off his own. Goes for a gentle tap. Joe, I believe, is debating whether to leave that center disc for his partner across the board. Problem is, Simon will have not a super tough time messing that up. Players knowing that it's a little bit of a risk that Simon is most likely going to try to mess up that center disc. Joe opted for the far outside one and just missed it, losing his shooter. Simon now, hoping to mess up that opportunity for Ben to take away that easy 20 from him. Just deciding the best way to do that without accidentally scoring a 20 for him on his shot. Few options here. He certainly can't just tap it. Talking about going through the opponent's disc on the board, the blue. The problem is, if he drains that, not very useful. Taps it, catches it from the outside, takes the opportunity away from Ben. That was a very nice play. Ben now going for that very thin cut and almost gets it. Just skips out of the 20. Little bit too much strength behind that shot. The Cheeky Buggers in very, very good position here. Most likely just looking for an off. Boot now. And rolls in. Almost got a 20 off that. Man, commenting. They need to get discs off the board. The Cheeky Buggers up 120. And four discs on the board. The Holy City Flickers certainly have their work cut out for them. Looking for a Hail Mary opportunity at this point to not give up the third round. Looking for at least a double. Talking about getting those two center discs out. Maybe some kind of follow through. See what Joe is able to do with this shot. Gets the double. Simon now looks like he's lining up for a double of his own. Opster just one off. Final shot for Ben. All he needs is a quadruple and to stay in the 15 to tie. Doesn't hit, which makes the third round two points for the cheeky buggers, bringing the score to four two staying in this game joe now to shoot leaving a heavy hanger for simon
Not undoable, though. Simon doesn't get the 20, but leaves his on the outside. The cheeky buggers with the hammer, most likely happy to keep play out here, or at the very least, not look to make an opportunity right away unless opportunity arises. Pressure now on Joe, rolling it up to the 10. Simon could roll to behind the pegs to keep it away from Ben. Ops a hit and stick there, not an easy shot for Ben, but tucks it away from Boot, leaving him with somewhat of a difficult shot, having to go through the pegs, and nice hit and stick. Joe now, most likely looking to come in, goes in, then goes back out. Now, Simon has an interesting decision here. He could stay outside, and it looks like that's what he's going to do. Perhaps looking to get a little bit behind the pegs. Certainly far enough away for Ben to make it very, very tough for him to come in. Brings it up to the 15 line and might have been able to catch a peg there. Boot now is going to have a tough time bringing this back out. Play is back to the middle where the Holy City Flickers would like it. See if Joe is able to convert. Not quite. Cheeky Buggers now again looking for an easy off with the hammer and two discs on the board in very good position. Boot now hoping to make this sting as Ben has said and he does just that. Nice 20. Cheeky Buggers in very good position now being up a 20. Simon looking to get a 20 of his own. Can he do it? And he does. Very nice shot. 2-0 in the 20s cup. Only a few shots left. This round is most likely going to the Cheeky Buggers, although the Holy City Flickers are not mathematically out of this yet. Lots of pressure on Joe now. If he wants to stay in this round, he will need a 20 off this. Now they are mathematically out of it. Rest of these shots inconsequential. The Cheeky Buggers will be taking the fourth round, tying the score at 4-4. Boot to take his last shot, and there it is. Cheeky Buggers take the fourth round. Score tied now at 4-4. These are games to seven points. So, still a few rounds yet to go. First to seven points, we'll be taking this and going to the semi-final round. Ben with a very nice shot. Boot up to shoot. Scores the open 20. Joe now, not with an easy leave. Posted shot. Most likely looking for just the off. Holy City Flickers have hammer in this round. So they are not in a bad spot. Gets a 20. Beautiful shot. Pressure on Simon now to get the 20. Overshoots it. Barely on the line. Two discs on the board. But the Holy City Flickers are happy ish with this situation if Ben can get the off now they'll be in a very good spot not quite the off still not in bad position though being up at 20 and with the hammer boot now maybe looking for a thin slice doesn't quite get it holy city flickers Looking for an easy off here. None of the discs except for the five are left in very nice positions. Joe looking for the best way to get this off. Opting for the outside. Almost gets it, leaving it on in the five, but doesn't lose his own. Simon now probably looking for an aggressive play. Gets the off in the five. Joe now might be looking for a bit of cleanup to make sure that vantage matters. Gets a very nice 20. 
bringing the 20 advantage up to Boot looking to convert on this 20 to keep him and Simon in the round. Nice. Bringing the 20 difference down to 1. Holy City Flickers still up and with Hammer, but with some work to do on the board. Or I stand corrected. Right now, this would be a tie round. So, not the worst spot, but most likely looking for the win, not the tie. Simon almost gets the follow through. Leaving an interesting situation for Ben. He could just get the off or go through a follow through of his own. Lots of power on that one. Rolls down to the five. Boot. Most likely looking to come in. Potentially get a 20 off this shot. The nice roll in. Rolls up to the 15. Might still be on the line there. Looks like his angle was a little bit off. Then looking for potentially a double there. Looks like it's pretty well lined up for that. They're only up 120, so a double would certainly be beneficial at this point. Lining up for it. Gets the double. Holy City Flickers now in a very good position. It is on the cheeky buggers now to make something happen to keep themselves in this round. Simon misses all the opponent's discs through a very thin line. And Ben now looking for the best possible off going through Hogan's Alley also misses, catches two pegs, and losing his own shooter to an invalid shot. Boot looking to make something happen. Deciding between whether to work with the 15 or the 5 in front of him. Simon won't be able to do much with the 5 that is in front of Boot, so it looks like Boot will be working with that one. Least... Looking to roll into the 10 here, I think. Oh, catches a peg up into the 15. Nice shot. Joe just looking for an easy off. Down to the last few shots. Holy City Flickers looking to stay in control without creating any opportunities for the cheeky buggers. And they are quite cheeky, so... Even when there isn't an opportunity, they can make one. So, Holy City Flickers need to be careful here. Ops for the easy off. Holy City Flickers in control of this round. Simon now looking for a crazy shot. We'll see what he decides to do. No easy 20s here. Anything he's catching is a very thin slice or maybe some peg action. I'm not sure what he will do here. He might be looking to go through his own. I don't know if he sees that for a nice 20. Or go for that other one. Looks like he'll be doing that and going for a very thin slice. And he gets it. Simon the Spider Dalric. That is why they call them the Cheeky Buggers. Great shot. Tying in the 20s cup. Not quite out of the woods yet. As Holy City Flickers do have the hammer in advantage. And are up on the board as it stands. Soon to be a two disc difference. Boot now. Needs to make something big happen. Simon. I don't know what Simon is pointing at here. <laughs> Looks like hoping for a lot of action. The first two discs of what he's pointing out. Looks like he's pointing for the one, two, three. Catch the posted disc. Crazy shot. It is Hail Mary time. Gets the double. Not a bad try from Boot at all. Right now they are tied on the board. Tied in the 20s cup. All Joe needs is to hit an opponent's disc. And the Holy City Flickers will take the 5th round. Bringing the score of this match to 6-4. Holy City Flickers 1 point away from winning this quarterfinal match. Very nice shots from everybody around the board. That very thin slice from 
Simon. Ben just barely staying in the 15. Oh, they're bringing out the flashlight. <laughs> Sometimes when it's very close, you can get some light in the situation and see if the disc is touching the line. And it is. So boot now. Up to shoot. Loses his own. Resetting the game. Joe now to shoot. Cheeky buggers with the hammer advantage. So... They are somewhat happy with the situation. Joe just barely staying in the 15. Simon now. Takeout leaving his. Firmly in the 15 now. Ben. Touches the opponent disc. It doesn't get the off though. Boot needs to be a little bit careful here. Nice. Gets the off. Stays in the 15. Cheeky buggers in very good position now. Having hammer and two discs on the board. No 20s for either team yet, but Joe surely looking to make something happen. Catches a peg, doesn't quite bounce back far enough, but seeing the vision there. Simon now just getting an easy off and staying away from that 20 hole. Ben opts for a takeout on the far side, not leaving Boot with a lot of options. Needs to be careful if he catches a peg, he could hit his own disc. First part happens. Doesn't catch his own, luckily. Still in a decent spot, the cheeky buggers, but this puts a little bit of pressure on them. Joe, most likely, looking at the very least for the off. Maybe a follow-through 20 here. Although, not in a great spot for that. Looks like he's looking for the off from the far side, so the follow-through might not be there. Offs for the hit and stick. Cheeky buggers now. We'll see if Simon stays on the outside or opts to go for that 15. Goes for the 10, gets the off, rolls his away. Doesn't leave Ben with a lot of options here. Ben unable to get the off. Boot now to shoot, looking for that off in the 15. Not... A 20 opportunity there, but gets a hit and stick. Cheeky Bugger is very happy with this situation as it stands. Oh, Joe gets the 20 that they needed. Now the pressure is on Simon. Whew! Beautiful, beautiful rolling. Bringing the advantage right back. Beautiful shots back to back. Cheeky Buggers yet again have the advantage with Hammer. One disc on the board. Joe needs to make something happen here. See what he does. Looking for a very thin slice to bring play back to the middle. Otherwise, Simon will be more than happy to keep play on the outside. Joe lining up his shot. Unable to bring it in. Simon now most likely looking for a hit and stick, which is what he does. Not the worst spot for Ben, but not much he can do with that opponent disc. Now, might be looking to just peel and hope for Boot to miss the open 20. We'll see if he stays on or if he peels down to the last few shots. He unfortunately misses. Leaving an open opportunity for Boot. If he makes this 20, the round is sealed. Misses. Maybe opening the door for Joe here. If he is able to convert on anything. Unfortunate loses his own. Simon now. They have won the round. Just stays in the 15. The score is now tied up to 6-6. It all comes down to this final round. Whoever wins this next round will be moving on to the semifinals to play Ron Langell and Paul Brubaker. Whose hammer is it? Boot opens with a 20. Joe follows Holy City Flickers with hammer. So they will have the advantage. Simon coming up short, leaving an opportunity for Ben. Who scores the 20 and gets the off? 
Holy City flickers in a very good position now. Up a 20 with Hammer. Boot. Evens out the 20 score. Joe follows right back up again. Simon coming short again. Maybe opening the door for Ben. Now a 220 advantage with Hammer. The Holy City Flickers are in a very good position here. Boot overshoots this time. Not leaving an easy opportunity for Joe. But Joe honestly just looking for the off and looking not to set Simon up. Unfortunately catches a peg. Simon now to shoot up the side. This angle might work better for him. And it does. Not quite evening out the 20s. But closing that gap just a little bit. Ben wisely staying on the outside. Not giving Boo any opportunity to play for the center. Misses. Catches the pegs. Zigzags around the opponent disc. Joe now, if he gets the off, Simon will not have a lot to work with. And with that hammer and 20 advantage, the Holy City Flickers will be in a very good position. Ben making some suggestions. Hoping to stay in between the pegs and to get the off. Not bad. Doesn't get the off, but not any easy opportunity for Simon here. He might be able to roll into the 15 from the disc in front of him. We'll see what he is able to do. Might be lining up for a double here. A bit risky with his own disc in the way though. Beautiful double. Skims in and out of the 15 but didn't catch his own. Very nice shot. Ben now most likely to roll up into the pegs. Gives Boot the opportunity to bring play back in the middle. We'll see what he's able to do. Taking his time again in and out of the 15. Joe now most likely to stay on the outside. Not creating any opportunity to Simon. Boot suggests that he go through his own. Try to roll his own into the 15. And use his other disc to hit the opponents. Simon looks like that's what he's lining up for. Does exactly that. Doesn't get the 20. But his now in the 15. Joe with not a clean off. But still in a very good position. Keeping in mind the Holy City Flickers are up in the 20. And have hammer advantage. So this is a very good spot for them right now. Boot and Simon desperately need something to happen here. Joe, very quick, stays on the outside. This round is all but over. Now sealed. Congratulations to the Holy City Flickers who have won this quarter final match. We see some of the highlights. Ben, who was taking advantage of those backboard 20s. Simon with a very nice double here. Thank you for tuning into this match. Stay tuned as a semi-final match between the Holy City Flickers and Whose Hammer Is It will be coming out very shortly. Make it a great day.